So it looks like something maybe you'd keep uh, something like some Mexican food in or something. You might get it at a restaurant, but it's nothing to do with that. It is kind of interesting looking, but you've got to be asking yourself, what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new Gadget Game Show. And I'm your host. Steve Greenberg, and you might recognize me from NBC's Today Show, or maybe from TV appearances around the country, uh, or my book, Gadget Nation. And the whole idea behind this game is to try to figure out the identity of a mystery gadget. And that's our mystery gadget right over there. So what the heck is that? To help us figure that out, we've got some panelists to uh, figure out the identity of the mystery gadget. First up is Miss Candy Sample. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Candy. Hey. Now, you be- You've been cooking your way through the pandemic, correct? Yeah. Your signature, your signature dish is a, a green bean casserole, correct? Yes. Even got that's a your signature. To go with it. But what's your what's your favorite dish? That's your that's your that's your your, your go to dish. What's your what's your favorite? What is okay? My favorite. Um, I, I you know I I'm a, I'm old fashioned. A good old meatloaf. Mm. Meatloaf. Mmm. Candy, next time you have to bring it one for everybody. You know, that's the rule. Yes. You got it. Next, we go to Lois Whitman Hess. I'm not going to ask her about food preparation, which you know you don't cook, but can you at least tell us what your favorite dish to eat is? What do you like to eat? What's your favorite? Oh Eggplant parmesan. Excellent choice. And next Thank time you. you have to bring that for everybody. Oh, yeah. And last for sure. but not least is. Harry Redlick, who is already our favorite dish because he's a good egg. I guess you could say that. I don't know. Aww. Anyway, Harry, what's your favorite dish? My favorite dish is pizza, of course. Good choice. Oh, oh I'm, I'm a big, I vote pizza. I will bring an, an entire pizza for each guest. That's, Ooh, I'm yes holding to that. We're holding you to that. This is okay. going to be a fun potluck. <laughs> Okay, so with all that in mind, take a look at our mystery gadget right here. I can tell you it has nothing to do with Mexican cuisine, because I know it does look like something you might find at a Mexican restaurant. It has nothing to do with that. But I will open it for you. The logo has been hidden by the blue tape on top, but when you open it, it opens like that. It looks like this on either side, and it closes up like this. Oh my God. And that's what it is, but it is a gadget. And it is actually a pretty popular one. So now we need to know what the heck is that? Miss Candy Samples, what's your question? Yes or no question, try to guess the identity of that gadget. Okay, you said it's not uh, for tortillas. But... It is not for tortillas. It's not, for oh. a Me- it's not a Mexican cuisine item, even though it looks just like one. Oh. Okay, so it's it's not that, but would it still, could I still find it in my kitchen? You could still find it in your kitchen, which is why I was asking you food questions at the beginning. That was a little hint. So it has something to do with the kitchen. So very good, good way of narrowing it down. Next we go to Miss Lois Whitman Hess, who of course is at a disadvantage, having never yes. been in a kitchen. Yes, I'm going to call my legal team after this. <laughs> Once I mean, they call me after every fail. show. Okay. Um, do you need this for food preparation? Yes, it's used exactly in food preparation. Very good. Okay, now well, Harry I'm can shocked. answer. Now Harry okay, can Harry. guess. She, okay, she's pitching it right over the plate. Yes, Harry, Harry, what's your question? The volleyball. I think I've seen one of these before. Uh oh. Oh, that's gonna be. It's gonna be a give. No, this wanna... is a joke. This is a joke. No, no, no. no I, I think, but I'm not sure if it's one of these th- or not. Um, when you put a bunch of salt in and then you put a glass down when you're making margaritas, is that what it is? Nope, it is not for the salting of a margarita glass. But it was a very good guess. And it had me worried because I was like, uh-oh. You know, there's no game here if, if you know the answer. Let's go back up to Miss Candy Sample. We ha- know it's in the kitchen. Food preparation. Nothing to do with margaritas. Candy, what's your question? Uh, uh, does, this, uh, it, it, does this help in um, making dessert? Mm, not, no, I would say no. Not does not help in making dessert. But I'll, I will give you a hint. 
because you guys deserve a hint. I'm going back to the puppet stage here. These little perforations on the inside, which you can barely see, there's like a little bit of a pattern here. Can you see that at all? It's kind yeah, of a okay. Good, good. Yeah, they're very slight. I can barely see them myself, but those perforations do help it do what it does. Oh my God. Does that help at all? Or did I confuse things? It, 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 Mm -hmm. it's it's very clever when you hear about it so okay we're moving on to lois whitman hess who mm. i that that hint so those little perforations on the top and bottom are important to its function does it make uh does it help you make waffles no it does not help you make waffles but good guess now we move on to Harry Redlick, who does spend a lot of time in the kitchen, who is quite the chef. Harry, what's your thoughts? Do you, you put some kind of food stuff inside and then put the top on? Yes. But in what way does that help you prepare it? And what kind and what kind of stuff? Uh, the, Those are the questions you need to be asking yourself. Okay, we go back up to Miss Candy Samples, who also is quite the uh, kitchen maven. I don't know what the word is. Maven. Okay, I'll use the word maven again. Yeah, kitchen maven. And so, Candy, what do you think? Okay, well, I, I, I had asked before it, for dessert, so it's not used to to help mold a, a, a form of a sweet something. So, um, might this be used? And I, you show those things with holes, and I'm just. I'm good. Is this used in cheese making? <laughs> no, it's not used in cheese making, but uh, that's interesting. And by the way, you could probably use it for a lot of things, but it's not designed for that. But I it has a very specific I design. But I that was a very good guess. She got suddenly. Yeah. What? I loved how serious she got suddenly. Is it used for cheese making? Lois Whitman Hess, what do you think? What are your hmm. thoughts? I want to throw it out. <laughs> uh, no. um, do you use it to make eggs? Nope, it's not used with eggs. But what's, what Lois is doing, which is very smart, is I think figuring out the food item or items might help with guessing this. So, uh, but eggs, take them off the list. Harry Redlick. Do you put some kind of dough in there? No dough. No, no dough. dough. How are you? No, no dough. dough. No dough. I just like saying no dough. Okay, let's go back up to candy samples. Um, so it's not dough, it's not eggs. I'll show you the pattern okay. again on the inside. Here what, we go. What, what food has it's that a, pattern on it? I'm trying to think. It's waffles, waffles. <laughs> we know it's not waffles. We already <laughs> said not waffles. Well, it's like a honeycomb. It's a, uh, it is. Okay, so, but but if it's not eggs, uh, do you put? Is that where you put your meat? No, it's not for your meat. That was a good guess. Okay, good guess. Okay, okay Lois Whitman. We're going to go around once more, and then we're going to have to flip the cards over. Oh. Lois, what's your thoughts? Oh my God. What go? What goes in there? Um. You melt cheese on a bagel and you put it in there. Uh, no, but that would be delicious. And of course I would love a, a, a bagel with cheese right now, but no, it's not for that. Harry Redlick, I think it's our last one. Then we're just gonna guess. Harry? So you, whatever you put in there, it makes those honeycomb patterns or it does something to the food that, that you put in. So. It's, it has to be something that can be molded, right? Uh, so it can't be butter again, is it? No, uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 uh, no. So, so th think it's, it's to help you prepare something. So what would you put in there that would help you prepare? What would you want to prepare maybe? Preparing. And it's not dough, take dough and butter off the table. Uh, is it a vegetable type of matter? Okay, we're getting warmer. We're getting warmer. That was a very nice guess. Vegetable. Yeah. Getting closer. Can we go one more round? One more round because Harry asked for it. It's a vegetable. 
Lois, don't don't guess some dumb thing that. <laughs> okay. Excuse but me. We, we've narrowed it down. Okay, That's Candy. Normal. Okay, no fighting panelists. Okay, go to ca Candy Samples. Candy. So we know it's a vegetable. It's in food preparation. So now, what are your thoughts? Um, it's it's where you put the chopped veggies that you don't want to, them to turn to brown before you cook them. No. Okay, Not the chopped veggies before they come back. Lois now. Now, <laughs> now, now it's Lois. And, and Lois has nothing to do with the window. I know it's usually we go for window guests. Oh. Nothing to do with the window. Lois, <laughs> what, what, what are your, what's your question? Is that for mashed potatoes? Not for mashed potatoes. But it was a good, well, it was a good question. Harry, this is clean up and then you have to guess. Mm. Harry, what, what are your thoughts? Vegetable. Um... And it's, uh, do, what would those things be doing to it? I, I, it's like, um, uh, uh, all I can think about are tomatoes and celery and carrots and, um, and uh, um, uh, corn, uh, 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 lettuce, no. Uh, oh, I uh, think you just answered it, Harry. What? You put one of those vegetables and then you smash it and you get the liquid from it. No, I don't think so. I don't think no. so. Um, uh, it, 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 is it forming this vegetable into something else? No. No, not at all. Not getting the juice okay. out of it. Wait okay, a minute. Now, not getting the juice out of the vegetable? And, not, and, I, and I tell you, not getting the juice out of it. OK, you're going to have to guess. Right. I, 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 let's go to the top. Let's get some thinking music going. And our panel, take a look and see if you can uh, Okay, I'll show it again while you're thinking, and then we'll go for a guess. Well, here we go. Once again, it's got this honeycomb pattern on it. As it's on both the bottom and the top. And you press. Yeah, it was kind of a hard plastic. Yeah. That thing closes down on it. Okay. So with that bit of knowledge, with what we've narrowed it down to, Miss Candy Samples, what's your guess? Okay. What the heck is that? What the, what the heck is that? What, what, what the heck am I thinking? I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. I'm stumped. I don't know. Okay. I'm from Georgia. Okay. We don't have these in Georgia. Uh, but you should. Okay, Lois Whitman, what's your guess? You can use them in Georgia. I know. I... Lois. I can't, I can't pick up my paper. Wait a minute. <laughs> Veggie warmer. No, but not a bad guess. At least it's very veggie. Okay, keep that tongue back in the mouth. Okay, let's go on to Harry Redley. Harry? Alien. All on you. Alien gynecological instrument. Oh, if only we had Oliver here. Think of the drawing he would have made for that. Oh my God. I still okay. A, a movie with, uh, um, uh, oh, uh, I forget the actress's name, but anyway. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Okay, so let's flip the cards over. So what is this device? It is called the Rapid Slicer. It's $12.95, but to really appreciate what that means, you have to look at the video. So check out the video. cherry tomatoes or anything like that. It's a great way because otherwise you're sitting there doing one at a time. It's kind of dangerous. There's a safe way to do it. Great invention. Uh, it's available on Amazon as well as QVC.com. 
rapidslicer.com is the web address and smart gadget, right? Yeah. I think so. And Lois, one day in the kitchen, you know, maybe you'll find out what the kitchen's about and you can use it. So it'll be fun for you. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, well, uh, we'll be back next time with another mystery gadget when we'll all be asking the question, what the heck is that? And I hope you'll join us. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please click that little subscribe button. Click the little bell next to it to alert you to new uh, episodes. And thank you for watching. Please like us. Please tell your friends. Please comment. Thanks so much. Everybody, take care. Stay safe. Go so long. Bye, y'all. <laughs>